The Pope will soon be on his way to Panama City and World Youth Day. The Holy Father joining a huge crowd of young people at the end of January. The celebration of the Catholic faith is a major undertaking. Jamie Lynn Black is the international media coordinator for the event, and she joins us now. Jamie, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me, Liz. Jamie, the first ever World Youth Day was held in Argentina in 1987. Now fast forward to the present, and an Argentinian pope is hosting the event in a Central American country. What does this mean to Hispanic and Latino Catholic communities where we're seeing such explosive growth? And also, what is the message for immigrants? Yes, so this is the first World Youth Day in Central America. Panamanians are so excited to be hosting the Central American bishops requested that the Holy Father bring World Youth Day to this region because there are so many poor Catholics here that were never able to attend a World Youth Day, and so now they can. And, you know, as complicated as an event like this might seem, and it is complicated, um, in essence, this is an event hosted by youth for youth. Mm -hmm. In the end, we'll have about 20,000 volunteers here helping in all aspects of the planning of the event. And now in Panama, we have several dozen volunteers that have given six months, a year of their life coming from, from places like Poland, uh, Rio. Uh, some of them have had their own personal World Youth Day experience and have decided that one week isn't enough and that they want to spend the better part of a year giving back to planning this event. Oh, I love to hear about that kind of commitment, Jamie. Uh, the sex abuse crisis, it has captured a lot of attention. It also became a focus at major events, including the World Meeting of Families and the U.S. Bishops Youth Summit not that long ago. Any signs that the scandal will impact turnout for World Youth Day? Even though it seems like the kind of event that you could blow out and make into, you know, what does this mean for the world? At the end of the day, it's one person's experience of the universal church. It's a very personal, spiritual experience to come to the World Youth Day. Jamie, you worked on World Youth Day in Krakow, Poland. You played a role in planning the World Meeting of Families. Were there challenges in planning Panama? How did you approach this papal event to make it different? I have this personal experience of knowing what it feels like to plan an event that you feel really connected to personally. You know, when the Pope is coming to Philadelphia, I know what that feels like. You just, you want to take ownership of that event. And so when I go to a place like Krakow or Panama, those places are very different culturally. I understand what it feels like for the, the Polish people or the Panamanians, not just to have this be an international event, but to really showcase their city to the world. So you just have to learn a little bit about the culture and about the things that they want to share with the world and be flexible in, in the way that they would plan such a huge event. I always like to find out if there's something groundbreaking or new that happens at these events. Is there anything maybe you can share with us that's going to be out of the ordinary? <clears throat> Of course, for every World Youth Day, there is something particular to that space, that region, but this one I think is especially important. This is the very first world meeting of indigenous youth. So indigenous young people from all over the world are going to meet here in Panama on the week before World Youth Day. They have representatives coming from Oceania, from Africa. There are going to be 400 indigenous young people. They're going to gather for some special programming the week prior to the event, and then they are all traveling as pilgrims to World Youth Day. But they are also going to be participating in the Youth Festival where they will host the indigenous village. This is a space where they will be able to showcase and exhibit their culture and the way that they live out their faith in their indigenous communities with all the rest of the pilgrims. Well, how much does the Vatican contribute to the planning of these big events? So we do work with the dicastery to um, sort of lay down the ground rules, but each of these events is primarily organized by the archdiocese of the host city. All right, Jamie, thank you so much for all the work you do, and we really do look forward to covering this event. It, it, it sounds like it's going to be an amazing one. It is. It's going to be great. Thank you so much.